Radio Shouty. What was it like when you had the yin yang blowing up? And okay, now before I even go there, what was the time in your career where you felt like you had the world in your hands and you was really in control of things? And the glow was upon you. <laughs> <laughs> At the crank that video shoot. Ooh. Because swapping from yin yang, that was one thing. Yeah. It's like Tom Brady going to Tampa. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good ass analogy. You know what I mean? <laughs> so I had already won in New England yeah. with Yin Yang. My God. So to actually start because you know, all the you know, full disclosure, my deal with Yin Yang and the, the deal that we had was more of a production okay. company deal with 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 them. Okay. Uh my deal with Soldier and Interscope was a flat out label deal. For those such as myself that are not really versed on that, what's the difference between a production deal and a the percentage? Deal? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got to turn this into no fucking class. <laughs> the monies, the monies with the S on the end. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm back with you now. Yeah, yeah. So you say the crank that when Soldier Boy went crazy, and that's your label, and you got this artist. I remember the video shoot because the video shoot, the yin yang stuff, when I did my deal over at TBT, that's where we were. Yeah. Uh, they had an A&R by the name of Brian Leach. Shouts mm. out to Brian Leach. Learned a lot from that brother. Okay. And he signed us. He signed John. He signed Pitbull. He signed Yo Gotti. He signed. Um, this nigga's the greatest A and R of all time. He, he got ASAP Rocky now. Um, he yeah. So he the whole ASAP thing. Like yeah. He's really good. That's why I took Hurricane when I found Hurricane. Um, but I remember that video shoot was my first video shoot in that deal, and it was all me. Yeah. There was no Brian Leach in between me. Yeah. And. You know, it was it was all me, and I just remembered the whole. You know, if you go back and look at the video, we had the Collie Paul thing on the ground where he was dancing on top of the Collie Paul logo. I I made it. <laughs> I said, "This is the stamp." <laughs> there will be no questions after this. Thanks. So I made that video a coming out party for him and me, mm -hmm. Soldier Boy and me. Yeah. Um, and so that's that was that was it. That's when I felt like you said yeah. the love was a you know driving factor, but how did the money impact the game? And the was money that, was always a bonus. Was there ever a time when that bonus was so damn big that you thought to yourself, "My God, I'm getting paid to do this"? You, you know what? Let me tell you the first check that I got that I that I was fucked up. <laughs> It was a mailbox check. Literally came in the mail. Uh, you know, most uh, you know, I, I get checks through my lawyer, and yeah. you know, the, the the good ones <laughs> usually come through. You know, somewhere. But this one showed up in the mailbox, and it was pretty damn big. My God! From from, it was a BMI check. I just okay. tell you that. Yeah. My BMI checks normally they yeah yeah yeah. Uh, but the, the one, the first one I got when I had uh, all those records on the radio at one time. Mm. Um, it blew my fucking mind. Because <laughs> I know it's going to be, I found one of my first BMI checks. My mom made me come over and get this old box out of yeah. the house that I had. Yeah. This was like last year. Mm -hmm. So I had one of my first BMI checks and that shit was for like a hundred something dollars. Yeah. So that's, that's where, where it came from. The humble beginnings. The check and I laugh. I almost wanted to damn cry. Damn. Because, come on, man. Yeah, exactly. And to 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 open up the mailbox. Now I still get mailbox checks, but this was the first one. Yeah. And and it was six figures, high six figures. <laughs> In the mail. I didn't have to go negotiate no deal. I ain't had to go sign no contract or nothing. I just pulled this bitch out, and I I, I remember opening that bitch like. And I paid for my first house with it. Damn right. Yeah. So now, between that hundred dollar check and that high six figure check, what was it that kept you focused on getting from that hundred to the big hundred? Well, the pressure that I had when, um, because I told you I was a newlywed. Ah. Uh. 
So when you start having kids and don't family, go there, I'll drink to that. All, all that shit. shit. That, that's <laughs> the drive shifts. <laughs> Goes to overdrive right. actually. So that that's that's what my drive was in those early days. <laughs> as far as the yin yang, the early yin yang mm-hmm. days leading into the soldier boy days. It was yeah. like, okay, now I got I got people I gotta take care of. Now. Yeah. And so and and I ain't gonna lie, it was always in the back of my mind, this shit might be over after this Ooh. album. I used to always think like this. I feel you. Because we didn't we didn't I had all I had already already exceeded. Yeah. Ooh. From a monetary perspective, I had already exceeded what I thought I could get out some fucking music. <laughs> you know, I'm first generation record deals and shit yeah. like that. So when you see all these cats running around here with these record deals now, it wasn't like that yeah. back then. You know, it was a, truly a blessing to get a record deal. We couldn't go on fucking TikTok and do a dance and and and, and wake up like we had to fucking go work. Work these records, man, and and you know it wasn't it wasn't a given. 